Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned, FAA announces drone safety push at UAS Symposium. FAA issues waiver to fly drones with parachutes, and Honeywell unveils compact fly-by-wire system. Welcome to Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned. In partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. I'm Sophie Herlock. Acting FAA Administrator Daniel Elwell announced National Drone Safety Awareness Week, a planned series of nationwide events focused on the safe operation of drones at the UAS Symposium held last week in Baltimore, Maryland. AUVSI will be a key partner in the week, including Know Before You Fly, the public education campaign started by AUVSI, the Academy of Model Aeronautics, and the FAA. Elwell wants everyone in on the conversation and several speakers at the event, including Elwell stated drone safety is actually the cornerstone for integration into the airspace. Remote identification, that is, being able to identify the operator of any drone, is one way to help achieve safety and is critical to allowing more complicated operations such as flying over people and package delivery and even urban air mobility or flying taxi. Now let's take a brief look at a few stories making rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. It's time for today's Unmanned Minute. AirMap has appointed Tom Wheeler, former chairman of the FCC, to the company's board of directors. Mr. Wheeler will help guide AirMap's leadership on the path towards realizing a new era in aviation, where open, interconnected technology and regulatory systems make safe, high-autonomy aircraft operations a part of everyday life. General Atomics Aeronautical Systems, CAE Canada, MDA, and L3 Westcam are expanding Team Sky Guardian to include even more Canadian companies. Team Sky Guardian Canada is a coalition of companies who support the MQ-9B Sky Guardian to fulfill Canada's RPAS requirements. Team Sky Guardian presents Canadian industry with business opportunities in the Canadian RPAS project and across the global fleet of more than 400 MQ-9 aircraft flying throughout the world. Kespri has announced that Grinnell Mutual, a primary reinsurer of farm companies, is using the Kespri platform for residential and commercial property roof inspections. The company now uses Kespri drones and its aerial intelligence platform routinely to make detailed high-resolution photos that are rapidly blended into single composite 3D images of roofs. And machine learning-based algorithmic assessments help adjusters determine storm-related damage, including hail impact in order to make the most accurate claims decisions possible. The FAA will partner with qualified commercial companies who can match the agency's $6 million pledge to perform vital drone integration safety work at the FAA's UAS test site. Acting FAA Administrator Daniel Elwell said the FAA intends to bridge the gap between industry and the test sites to tackle some of our most difficult technical and operational challenges. The June 3rd broad agency announcement states that applicants must be able to match the federal funds they request through this program. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. The FAA's issued Hensel Phelps Construction Company a Part 107 waiver to operate a DJI Phantom 4 drone equipped with a parachute over people. A waiver is required to operate a drone contrary to the rules in Part 107. The FAA did not certify or approve the parachute that will be used. However, they determined the waiver application sufficiently met the standard design specification and the proposed small UAS operation could be conducted safely under the terms and condition of the waiver. This waiver represents the first time the FAA has collaborated with industry in developing a publicly available standard worked with an applicant to ensure the testing and data collected acceptably met the standard and issued a waiver using an industry standard as a basis to determine that a proposed small UAS operation could be conducted safely. This process is scalable and available to other applicants who propose to use the same drone and parachute combination. 
The FAA will require each applicant to provide testing, documentation, and statement of compliance listed in ASTM 3322-18 in their application using the same drone and parachute combination. Honeywell has unveiled a new compact fly-by-wire system approximately the size of a book. The computer packs the brains of an airliner's flight controls into one system and is the next step towards autonomous and urban air mobility vehicles. The flight control computer from Honeywell adds stability to new aircraft designs by driving electric actuators and dynamically adjusting flight surfaces and motors to smoothly follow flight paths. It reduces turbulence and allows designers to push the limits of aerodynamics eliminating the need for heavy hydraulics, control cables, or push rods. The flight control computer has architectural features derived from Honeywell's proven and certified existing compact fly-by-wire systems for airplane and is built to aviation industry certification standards, providing the highest levels of availability and integrity. Honeywell is offering features a triple-plex flight control computer architecture, providing multiple backup options and eliminating the risk of relying on one system failure. In addition, each computer uses lockstep processing, meaning it has two processing channels that consistently check each other's work. And that's our last story of the day, everyone. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe, tweet, and like us. For more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned, check out AUBSI.org and airborne-unmanned.net. Have a great day.